we're asked to rewrite the expression seven times, open parentheses, five plus 11, close parentheses, as the sum of 35 and another whole number. So really what they're asking us to do is just apply the distributive property. We have seven times the quantity five plus 11. Now this is easy to calculate. You could just say five plus 11 is 16, and then 16 times seven is what? That's 70 plus 42, which would be 112. But that's not what they're asking us to do. They're not saying just calculate this. They're saying express this as a sum of 35 and another whole number. So let's apply the distributive property, and let's see if we can get a sum of 35 and another whole number. So seven times five plus 11, that's the same thing as seven times five plus, plus seven times 11. And you can see what this expression editor right over here, it tells you, it, it puts it kind of the nice math formatting for what it looks like for the computer. So if we're distributing the seven over the five and the 11, it's seven times five plus seven times 11. Well, seven times five is 35, and seven times 11 is 77. Now, have we done what they're asking us? They said rewrite this expression as the sum of 35 and another whole number. Well, we've done that. We've written it as a sum of 35 and another whole number, and we were able to do it, do it using the distributive property. So let's check to make sure that we got the right answer. Yes, we did. Let's do one more of these. Rewrite the expression 12 plus 75 in the following form. A times four plus C, where A and C represent whole numbers. Now, that this might look complex, but they're really asking us to factor out an A, factoring out an A out of this expression right over here, seeing how much we can factor out so that one of these two numbers becomes a 12, or becomes a four. So let's think about how to do that. If we look at these two numbers, the greatest common divisor of 12 and 75 looks like it is three. Three is definitely divisible into, or both of them are divisible by three. So you can write 12. 12 is the same thing as three times four. And 75 is the same thing as three times, three times 25. Now, what we could do is we can essentially factor out, we can factor out the three. So this is, or you could say we're undistributing the three. So that's the same thing. Three times four plus three times 25, that's the same thing as three, that's the same thing as three times four plus 25. Three times four plus 25. And it looks like we've actually put it in the form that they want us to put it in, where three is A and four is right there, it's four, and then C is 25. So we've put it in the right form. Let's check our answer. We got it right.